Hey, Chris. Yes, Lee? How old are you right now? I'm 24 right now. And when are you 25? On Monday, so in like 40... Not 48, yeah. no, in 30-something hours. No, no, Tuesday is when we go to York. Monday is my birthday. I so Monday is your birthday. Monday so you, birthday. you're nearly 25, nearly, the, nearly a quarter of a century years old. That's right. Yeah. I, I went three. American then a little bit. Yes. I thought it was on the 4th. No, that's when we go to York. Oh, shit, sorry, mate. I thought it was on the 4th. That's all right. That's fine. How do you feel about turning 25? Um, I don't really mind. About it. It's when it's when I think about it as uh, being quarter of a century year old that uh, when people say it like that, that's what kind of scares me. But to me, age is just a number anyway. So like, for me now as 24 to turning 25, there's literally no there's no difference. Apart from that number just slowly ticking to death. <laughs> nice. That's cheerful. That's a morbid there. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what would you say you're most <coughs> proud of in your 25 years of being on this planet? Like, um, if, if you were to die the day after you turn 25, what would you like people to remember you as, like having done? It's hard to pinpoint one thing. Uh, not that I'm proud of lots of stuff that I've done, um, but I mean, getting a degree at university is something to be proud of, I suppose. Um, although even with that, I feel I should have done better with it. Um, I suppose starting the YouTube channel, actually, and actually sort of becoming some kind of minor, well, I don't even want to say minor, but people actually knowing me on the internet, actually yeah. having something out there on the internet, having some kind of footprint out there. And people, you know, leaving something behind for people to watch. You got fans. You got fans. Safe to say, you got fans. And um, winning most improved player of the season at Cookridge Albion in two thousand and two. Or two thousand and one. Really? <laughs> no. I'm gonna say that very <laughs> precise. But yeah. yeah. No, that I mean that was a cool moment <laughs> playing football and getting that. But yeah, yeah, I'd, yeah. Probably um, getting my degree in sports journalism and then and then the YouTube thing. Yeah. Well, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, what are you most looking forward to in the next 25 years of your life? Ooh, um, that's a hard question because I'm really not sure what's, what's right. going to be happening. But, well, I, I'm looking forward to finally doing my own thing and moving out of the parents and finally feeling like I am my own, you know, person. person. That sounds like a really hippie thing to say, doesn't it? But um, <laughs> no, it's, it's true. just being able to do my own thing, and hopefully, you know, in the next year or so, kind of setting up. Well, at some point, hopefully, maybe setting up my own kind of studio thing to do creative things. And but in, I don't know. Next twenty-five years, that takes me to fifty. I'm good at maths. You are good at maths. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say without knowing what's happening. What's your plan for the next year? For the next year, mm. my plan for the next year is moving out, getting my own place, settling down with Charlie. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Become an aeroplane. Become an aeroplane, uh, a world famous mime artist. I've got a lot of work <laughs> to do. Um, uh, pushing forward with the YouTube thing and starting making maybe more film stuff and not just sticking to the gaming, mm. actually becoming more creative in, in that sense. Uh, what advice, because I'm only three years <coughs> in it, or I will be, what advice could you offer a three person older, year younger than you? <laughs> I if would, younger. Um, what say, someone just turning 18? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll go for that. Someone who just uh, finished college, maybe, maybe halfway through uni or whatever. About to start the real big league in life. The real big league. I would say, have no fears in what you want to do with your life, and also don't be afraid in changing your mind. If you if you're going into university or whatever you're doing after college, and you have something in your mind that you really wanted to do, and then it turns out that possibly that isn't what's going to happen, don't be afraid of taking different turns because sometimes you can take a turn down a different road and it is for the better. Um, so yeah, I'd just say go with it. Um, 
make the most of it as well, because I regret my time in university for not really getting on with university life and student life. Um, so yeah, just fucking go for it and live. I know it's a cliche one, but live each day as if it's your fucking last. YOLO, right? Look YOLO and drink Diet Pepsi. And, and spill it. And spill it like the idiot that you are. Which uh, you are going to have to actually lick up because, you know, it clearly. Yeah, it doesn't taste nice at all. You've had worse. I have. So it's plastic Pepsi? It is like, pla it actually is like plastic Pepsi. It's disgusting. It's all like right. the flat. One last question. If you could recommend any food to anybody in the entire planet, what would you recommend? Ooh, okay, that was, I wasn't expecting that. Um, hmm. I would say, everyone loves pizza, but you haven't had pizza until you've gone to Naples. Well, the Neapolitan area in Italy and had where the pizza was born and had a proper traditional style Neapolitan pizza. The shit. Basically pizza. No, 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 no. Not any pizza. <laughs> Not any pizza. No, I joke, I joke. So. You've got to go. I'm going to have to change his last question rule and say, when you talk, why do you always do that? That. Because most, because because most people do that. <coughs> Hang on, I'm going to. Wait. Most people do that. Chris does that. Why? I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Big fish, little fish, cardboard box. Boom. Big fish, little fish, cardboard fox. All right, All right. and uh, thank you very much. Pie words. Pie words. Thank you Pie for joining words. me here at the uh, spill your diet Pepsi table. Love it. Love it. Thanks for your time, Chris. Thank you. Hey, Charlie. Hello. Thanks very much for your time. Anytime. This is, uh, as you know, for Chris's birthday, twenty mm. fifth, mm. or for Chris in general. And uh, I'd just like to start with a question. How long have you known Chris? Just over a year, I think. Just over a year? Yeah. Where yeah, about? we had our anniversary. We had last month for it. I think it was, yeah. Yeah. How did you meet him? Um, at a pub, it happens. Through you. Through me? Mm. And how was that first meeting? Well, I can't remember much of it. I remember the first words I ever said to him, which was, uh, you're least circumcised mate. And then that really just went on from there. We're good. Just hit like, well, like you've seen us, haven't you? So, hmm. What would you say you, uh, you and Chris gel over the most? What things do you have most that are in common? Doctor Who. Pokemon, maybe? Although he doesn't know his shit as much as I do. So, yeah. um, he's got a good sense of humour, I'll give him that as well. Good sense of humour? Hmm. Obviously, the football's not that shy, but... Obviously. It's the same kind of character, which helps as well, I have to say. And we both love kebabs. <laughs> what would you say are his best qualities? His sense of humour. Um, he's very charming. I'd say. He's, he's, and he's, he's, he's nice. He's just a genuinely nice guy. But obviously, we, we don't tell him that. He's a cunt. Exactly. But he's, he's a nice guy. He means well. <laughs> of course, we wouldn't tell him that to his mm. face. No. Nah. Would you say Chris has any flaws? Well, yeah, I'd say he's too nice. In, in what way? Well, he'd do it for anyone, which is obviously fucked him up before. Did you just trump? I did just. <laughs> <laughs> and, um. <laughs> oh, how do you word it? He's. He holds a grudge. He doesn't let him go of shit. I'd say that's a flaw. Hmm. But he didn't have many. Bless him. Although he's obviously going bald. But luckily he's got some shoe polish for that shit, so it's that right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if you could leave Chris any words for the year ahead, what would they be? Get money, 
Get bitches. Get laid. <laughs> no, I just enjoy it, man. Just take it as it comes. Ignore what's happened and just fucking go for it. Hello, Lee. Hello. As you know, it is uh, Jonesy's 25th birthday soon. It is. How long have you known Jonesy? I've known him for about a year and a half, I would say. About a year and a half? About a year and a half. Oh. And yeah. in that time, what has he taught you? What has he taught me? Hmm. Uh, he's taught me how to edit, in a, edit a video, of all things. Hmm? <laughs> no, he's taught me a lot, really. Is uh, it's it's taught me that much. Words cannot describe. Words cannot describe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. No, he's uh, he has taught me a few things in life. Hmm. I feel like I've taught him more though. Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. Of course. What would you say is your proudest moment with him? I think my proudest moment with uh, with Chris. Or Jonesy, as his followers know him as. Mm. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very good question. Mm. Let me think about it. Do you know, I think my proudest moments with Chris have been where it's been. A situation where we've been out and about, we're in the pubs and stuff, yeah. and uh, as, sh as shy as he can be around uh, certain people, women, uh, you know, he he doesn't give up. He's a fighter. He he'll come with me through the depths of hell, or, and keep you know, on going. He'll, he'll, he'll follow me all the way, and he tries everything I I tell him to do. Uh, for obtaining these said women, yes. T certain techniques, even even going, you know, as far as going up to them and saying hello. <laughs> of, course. of course, you're an expert yourself, yeah. so you can That's pass it. on this wisdom. Yeah. So I, I'd say I'm definitely proud of him when he does that. He, he's not. He doesn't shy away from it. He's just like. Don't back down, and he's he's got it's his like, confidence. I'm going for it. <laughs> that was perfect in the background. He, he, he just, just dropped a card. He dropped a <laughs> <laughs> Um <laughs> Yeah. No, he does make me proud when he does that. He shows no fear as such. He just goes through it with me, which is great. And what would you say is his uh, best features? Chris is one of the most genuinely nice guys that I have ever met. And uh, in a way, he kind of makes me better in the sense that he makes me think, think about things a bit more. Um, especially... Like concerning people, mm. like before, I was quite quick to judge. I would say, of certain situations, whereas Chris is kind of, uh, I don't know, it makes me see things a bit differently. Looks like, on the bright kind yeah, of he, side. Yeah, he kind of yeah. has a, you know, a point for each side, and mm. I feel like it's, uh, it's come across in me now. And definitely, I've changed myself in that way. But yeah, like I say, he's one of the nicest people I've ever met. Like. I'm not going to say he can't fault the lad. <laughs> what would you say are his faults? His faults. Hmm. He's stupidly... What's the word I'm looking for? So, Sudden saying the camera, that. But, you know, these things happen in a They do, world. they do. Uh, especially when you're unprepared as is. Yes. So you were saying his flaws? Yeah. I'm not going to say he doesn't have any flaws, I've, I've, as I've already said. Mm. He does. Uh, one of the biggest being that he lacks self-confidence, which irritates the shit out of me because he has no reason to. He has confidence in with people, but when he's on his own, you mean? Because your last comment said that he was brave and he could keep going and fighting, so does he mean... No, 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 he, he has confidence in that way, but I mean, uh, in himself, he still he has these uh, underlying thoughts about himself all the time. And he doesn't realise his own worth. Exactly. Right. That's it. Mm. And, uh, yeah, it just really annoys me because 
it's like, like I say, it's just it's just such a good game. Yeah, he generally is. Yeah, and uh, he needs to. Um, I don't know, forget about that shit and just just be himself and the rest will fall into place really. That's all why that's all I want him to be. Himself. Mm. I presume you do as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. I know where you're coming from. Well we've both been there, let's be honest. So. Exactly. Mm. Basically, uh that that's uh that's a little flaw for me. That and his uh, his pin's too big. Obviously, obviously, yeah. He does have a massive penis. Yeah. That's a bit of a problem sometimes. Where would you like to see him in the next year? Because we've obviously heard his plan. Where would I like to see Chris in him in the next year? Mm. Um, happy. I'd like to see him in a state of mind and affairs where he doesn't really have to worry about much. I know he doesn't have to now, but, you know. <laughs> In his mind. In his mind. Yeah. Uh, where he can be just happy with what he's doing and happy with where he is in his life at that point in time. That'd be great. Also, I'd like quite like him to be quite famous because uh, then that makes us more famous. And, <laughs> you know, we get more views. Purely selfish. But, yeah, purely but, selfish. Uh, yeah. That's a different story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but basically more famous. What do you think his... Because obviously he, he, he tells us stuff. As his mates. Yes. What do you think? Hang on, how do you word it? How does he see himself in his mind? Uh, like I say, I I don't think he believes in himself too much. What the hell is my drink? Technical difficulties. No. Damn it, Chris! Son of a bitch! Oh, God! Fuck! Get it! Get it! Cut! Master! Yeah! I love you. You could see the look on his face right now. What he said. Um, yeah, we have just made him just go sit in the corner. <laughs> what was the question again? How does he see himself in his mind? He sees himself as like the biggest, dickest person on the planet. And how can we help him change? By a girth reduction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah save, save his documentary, Haley. Come on, fuck it. Go. No, Put together, man. No. Uh, it's hard to know what goes through his mind sometimes, but sometimes you mm. just wish he could know what he was thinking. Alright. Um, um. Like, uh, obviously, obviously, sometimes uh, the big D, the scary monster that comes along called depression, mm. as a monster, uh, does affect him. And it, you know, shouldn't. And he knows that as well, so... I but obviously you can't escape it, so no. it's not something you get to pick and choose, so really. So always going to be something on his mind, but at the same time, when he's got friends like us... Mm. You know, no reason to be. What words of advice would you give him? Advice? Mm. Don't worry about, about a thing, thing. Cause every, every little thing, thing it's gonna, gonna be alright. Sing it, don't, don't worry. About a thing. Let's get together and be feel alright. Alright, so this first question is for Alfie. Alfie? Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not when you're doing that. <laughs> Alright, okay, so this is a bit weird asking questions about me. Um, okay. Um, what were your very first thoughts of me? So, Lee first, because you met me first. Alright, so I met you at work. Mm hmm. Um, and he told me this new guy was starting. I was like, okay, I hope he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, when I first met you, I thought, wow, he's not cool. To be natural, fair, that's uh, quite natural. No, no, seriously, like, I, I, uh, I thought, well, you know, I could do a bit more upper body strength. <laughs> but I thought, no, this guy's cool. Yeah, uh, that was cool. You know, he's alright, he's a uh, nice point, lad. Um, seems to have a good sense of humour on him. And uh, <laughs> I thought, you know, maybe we could get alright, you know. We'll see how things get on. Yeah. And uh, 
to talk about uh, how we then talked about YouTube. It was a while. It, it was like it was a good few months. It's a past. few months. I mean, we we used to kind of talk the first month or so, but we never really. We talked. We never really had a proper conversation no, about. It was more to do about work and stuff. Uh, the first thing that got us realizing we were very alike, I think, was talking about music. Probably. Oh yeah, we found a real quick uh, oddness for the same kind of music. Yeah. Uh, and like, then gaming. Yeah. Like not 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 his rock really. Yeah, American uh, not his rock yeah. and stuff. Teenage dirtbags basically. Yeah, basically. Was <laughs> yeah. well, that nineties? No, that was no, no. I mean though. the album Teenage Dirtbags and yeah, yeah. yeah. Some yeah. but whatever. Yeah, that's basically what my first thoughts were. I thought, you know, I could get on this guy, you know, see how things go. Charlie? Hmm? Same question, Charlie? We Quite met simple. in a pub. <laughs> it was uh, Lee Circumcised Friend. If you remember. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. First words, Jim. Ah, oh, but I, I did uh, Before con- that, conceive him as a fan of Jock's Cast and stuff. Yeah, I thought you were, before I met you, I thought you were like, <laughs> no offence, a lot taller. With long hair and a lot like how I was back then, you know, with beard and hair and stuff. I put you like that, but not as sad and lonely. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that doesn't come across straight away. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's when but I when start crying sat, in the corner. Yeah. When you're sat in a pub, uh, having shots for, uh, during a World Cup game, and you forget the rules and you just end up having many shots, and then you're there sat with three people, uh, two people, <laughs> fucking work. singing F Club Seven. I mean. Fucking yeah, friendships are bonded. It didn't take long, really, did it? I, no, 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 like we, the, uh, I think there were about half an hour of awkwardness where, like, you're trying to, you know, tread the wall. Well, listen, the first part about the, the first yeah. real test was when Lee went to the toilet, yeah. and, we and then it was just us two. Small talk. <laughs> so good weather today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Have you been drinking? Except, okay, I'm, sure. except <laughs> I'm pretty sure you talked about your know, love for the same YouTube channel. Also. We actually talked about because I was, did eventually, yeah. Uh, when you went off. You commented because I was wearing my Eagles T-shirt. Yes. And you commented on that, and within that same conversation, you said you're planning to be dead by 37. Yeah. Yes, I <laughs> did. Yeah. Because know yeah. about Charlie Stem affairs right there. Yeah. Oh, he's gone up now. It's like 46 now, so it's like that. Yeah, it's going. Yeah. It's going up. Mm. Um. Good that. What we have just spring this on him. Yeah, literally, I, 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 no idea. I had no idea. No. And it's quite awkward asking questions by itself. Um, what would you say? What is the most annoying thing about me? Ooh. And I know that you, that you won't hold back. He knows breathing. In videos. My nose. Breathing. I can't you know, say. To be fair, I can't say I've noticed it. Alright, alright. So let, 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 let me just clear this out. Right? Or do I need to clear it out? Is that the problem? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I do it. Yeah, I do it myself. It's just something. Yeah, but you use a fucking selfie like, stick. So. Because I watch so much of your videos, and I watch, well, I watch all of your videos, pretty much. Catching up in Game of Thrones. Yeah. Everyone I've watched. And something you do, I do it myself occasionally, but not as often as you. When you're recording, and I can understand why, because it's a completely natural thing to do, it's breathing out your nose. But it comes across on recordings. Do you know what? I've not even noticed it that I've done it. So now you've said that it, I'm going to be really aware of it. <laughs> yeah. So it's, I'm going to. Really like Do you know what? I'm glad you've said it because, uh, yeah, I'll be it's aware of that. It's one of those now. really. It shouldn't be a problem at all, things, but it's something I, I was like, he's breathing. He's like, <laughs> and I was like, Okay, he's doing it a bit now. And I think why it really <laughs> comes through, through different videos, like, especially in the Game of Thrones yeah. ones, because there's a lot of quiet periods, yeah, and I'm, ra- I'm right next to the mic. When, when there ain't much uh, background noise, you know, so what am I? Uh, I think I need to step away from the mic, maybe. And uh, it's one of those really trivial. You know, <laughs> well, that's, I wasn't things. expecting that, to be fair, so that's a good one. But, um, <clears throat> but more. <sighs> Oh, there's more. Yeah. Fucking hell, I always said <laughs> one thing. <laughs> yeah, you get a list, don't I was just on about a mile of the signal outside. Uh, I think the most annoying thing about yourself is um, your lack of self confidence. Because it winds me up. <laughs> I was going to say like a joke thing, but I'm a with him on this one. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but my, my joke thing is uh, how. Oh, fuck, I completely forgot what it fucking is. Well, Ah! Uh, yeah. How 
I miss my beard, like, a lot. And then there's you, with that fucking magnificent beast that's growing on you, <laughs> and that pisses me off. But yeah, you do, you still have confidence. Uh, we, 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 it's not your fault, but... No. Damn you! To be fair, to be fair <laughs> it annoys the fuck out of me. It's By the well, way, that's nice. you are gonna cry by the end of the evening. Yeah, so stop <laughs> being a fucking. I don't know what's going to say. Well, stop being an annoying cunt. Yeah, Chris! <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely an SF. An SFW S- documentary. I, I don't know yes. what that is. Isn't, isn't that thing like. Not safe thing? for work. No. I don't know. What's that thing? Well, like. What sort of thing? That what's thing. That? Anyway, different subject. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Wait. Uh, okay. Uh, what is my the best feature of me? Not physically. So it's a human thing. Oh, sorry. Not physically. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's all right. Next question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, you have a really good sense of humour. You always see the funny side of shit. I try my best. And you put up with my dry humour, which even he struggles with sometimes. It's yeah. just, it's just Charlie. That's, just <laughs> that, that's a, that's a look of a man who has what? spent years. <laughs> is that what I look like in like a couple of yeah, years time? That, I've only known him for three, three, four years. You say put up is like, it's just, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's, yeah, winner. You don't have to explain. Yeah, it's like, it's not even like a word or definition as to how you feel. I showed my mum a video years. we were doing, and uh, I, I think it might have been the not charades, sure like the first couple of bar chats when my. You know, I would be proper dry blood and shit and then to people. That's everything. And she just turned around and just went, Yeah, that's you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and that's after 40 odd years. Uh, you know, he's like that on three. But you, you just keep going. I'm, just, I, I'm still in there. A year, a year and a month, and they're still going strong. Oh. Obviously, there's time yet. So. I, I think your best feature is the ability to see the best in everybody. Yeah, that's good thing. To do in this rotten world that we're living in. And it is rotten. You can see Lee as the gappy, biggie, arrogant bastard he is. And yet still see. <laughs> he's really arrogant now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, I mean, he's the epitome of I'm arrogance right now. I'm trying to set up a joke. Have you noticed how he's, he's turned all these questions onto him? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea that question. Um, <laughs> Yeah, just, but you just look at him as the big, cute, little, soft ears. I don't ears. fucking hate about that joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? He acts all big and tough and all this, but you see them. He's a soft, cuddly tie inside. Yeah. What the fuck are you on about me for? Because <laughs> yeah. you're here and you're the best example I can think of. <laughs> Unfortunately, Unfortunately for me, this twat has made me drink shitloads tonight, sir. <laughs> I am to blame for My that. My brain's not quite working. And I still yeah, got to drive like, you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's supposed to be like sober and his birthday. Like wedding when was drinking. That's a good point, actually. Uh, but he is my I'll make up for it in your... Fucking yeah, make you fucking will, because you're Fleet not... Fleetwood Mac. Sorry. How are they, actually? You have to go into yeah, yeah, better way, awesome. like, if you don't drink any of our drinks, we will be highly offended. And uh, we, we will disown you. Because we are paying for every single one of your drinks. Yeah. Between us, because I went up and made a money. So you've already, you've already basically planned what you're going to make me drink then, aren't you? Yeah, probably. Not what we're going to, but that, that's like a come well, on go kind of thing. Way, you're going to get shit. we're going to is like 10 shots to somebody. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. So I'm going to enjoy the... With uh, the occasional tequila. 120 yeah. shots to somebody. Yeah. That's at least like three balls. Yeah. I'll be tipsy then. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> be tipsy, yeah. Um, hmm. One last question. One last question. Unless oh, you've got mm. more, I mean, crack on. Just give me a slight pause break to go and leave on the glass. I'm being a scrub today, so. Describe my role in the group. Alright. Group, as in, uh, as fatter. Yeah. yeah. And, and would you include my. Just us. Just us three. Will? Uh, yeah. No, just those three. It's just three. Just okay. those three. Just bad time. Yeah, just bad time. Right, bad time. You're the glue. I'm gonna say that I made that joke earlier on, didn't I? That's you. You're the. You're, you're what kind of. You don't exactly hold us together, 
because we do that naturally. But yeah. <laughs> you're the if you've got an arrow, right? You're the guy at the point, and we're just following you. You 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 tell us like well from my bit anyway because I just fuck off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to disagree. He's the guy who I, I, sets I believe you believe that we're those two are the people at the point of the spear. They're at the front. Like and he's like dragging his back, keep keep it reins on. No, no, he's the one behind the fucking scenes, actually doing all the work. Except at the same time, yeah, part of that arrow. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's got a good point. Yeah, you're not only no, you're you, the point. You, okay, <laughs> <laughs> do do yeah, because. You do all the editing, well, not all of it, because you do a bit. I don't know any, any editing for that time. Oh, in that case, yes, you do do all the editing. <laughs> but at the same time, you want to keep the reins on shit. And That's all basically, the, 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 you are uh, captain. Uh, yeah, it's got reins. Yeah. Basically, until I get the software to do proper editing. Right? No, even then, I you only can't. Windows Movie Maker. Yeah, but he will always be the guy who fucking does yeah, the most work. If he were the A team, You'd be a C team. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, a fly called what? No, no, no. no Charlie no. team. I'd be. Ah, yes. C team. Charlie team. Well served. Right, hang on. I've got to do some fucking remembering here. I'd say I'd your face. You'd be face. I'd be face. Okay. I'd be Murdoch. Oh. Yeah. He'd be Hannibal. Yeah. And we got Mr. Scott. His bracket. Bracket face. I'll be his bracket. There you go. <laughs> You'd be the fool. That took me some thinking to remember fucking Hannibal to me, not gonna lie. Well done. But yeah, you know what I mean? I think so. I think so. After all that, I think I know Shit. what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you do, because I fucking cool. Um, You do all, uh, like. Yeah, like, apart from. Uh, put Bata aside. No, bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> Give me it back, come on. <laughs> bring it back, bring it back. No, like, uh, I don't know, you, you're definitely on the more technical side of things. So I'm the like, robot of the group. Basically, I'm the creator, you're the producer. You're the artistic side of things where you do, because if, if we plan out shit, he's the guy who does it. Basically, the, the individual, I'd say the individual things that are Not thought creator, of. creator, but they do. You come up with the initial idea, yeah. we both expand on it, Kind of like the writer would and I'm here for moral support and to Charlie Hill. Charlie's here to do what he's told. I'm the, I am the uh, chaos principle to it. I take yeah. your idea and just fucking do what well, I want. Well, to be fair, you bring, you make some. I do good, some good ideas every yeah. now and again. Do come up with yeah. yeah, we still need to act on some of these, but yeah. which will be happening in two weeks' time. Um, yes, yes, we can't hear it. All right, final question. Describe me in three words. <laughs> Fucking steady, Charlie. <laughs> I've still got my yellow and red card in there. <laughs> the real guy. <laughs> Fucking, I, I can't take that away from Sid, Charlie. <laughs> the real guy. <laughs> you don't watch it, do you? Yes. I thought you did Oh my them God! Oh. Anyway, right, no, no, no. Uh, three words. Bold, good company. That's the name of the next battlefield game. That's going on my headstone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, had to, I had to get some kind of like jerky. Uh, Bold, good yeah. company. Yeah. <laughs> battlefield five. Bold, good company. <laughs> Um, I would play that game. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a lot of bottle men just going there. But we'd like some tea. <laughs> kind. Artistic. Was that, was that artistic? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> kind, artistic. Ah, oh, I probably should have sold like half the population. Yeah. We're not insulting. You do that. Um, yeah, fuck it, I don't care. I'm not saying anything to the Robins or We just um, misheard the word. Kind, just kind. That's kind, good. artistic, and handsome. Oh, that's right. No, funny. Funny. It's all a joke, Chris. Yeah. One last joke to end this video. Um, I was walking through Wigan the other night, 
I don't know why it was the other night. I was walking through uh, through Wigan, and uh, I uh, I needed a, a B and Q, uh, and I asked the local guy, "Is there a B and Q in Wigan, mate?" And he went, "No, no, lad. It's just W I G A N. Just Wigan. <laughs> There's no B and Q in Wigan. Last I heard." <laughs> and I'm off. <laughs> 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 Alright. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah. That's good shit.